Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can change different properties of the objects in our game using code and scripts. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be changing the properties of different parts in our game. So to get started, let's go ahead and add a part and see what properties we can actually change. So if you click on the blue cube, that'll add a part for you. And then if you look under the properties for this part, you can see all the different properties that we can change. So in this video, we're just going to be running through quite a few of these and seeing how you can change this with a script. So since we're going to be changing a bunch of different properties, let's go ahead and add a couple different parts into our game. And you can just move them wherever you want. I'm just going to put a couple of them in a line. Okay, and this is what I have. So I have five different parts in the game. Four of them are the normal size that they appear when you press on part. And this last one I made a little bit bigger. And if you're not sure how to change the size of a part, if you click on it, you can just go up here to scale. And then you can drag these bubbles that appear until you get to the size you want. So I have four smaller parts and one larger part. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rename these parts based on the property that we're going to change. This is not necessary, but it's just going to make it easier for us to follow in this video. So for the first one, I'm going to click on it. It highlights it over here in the Explorer menu. I'm going to right click and press rename. For this one, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to rename this one color. For the next one, I'm going to rename this one size. I'm going to be changing the size of this part. Okay, for this one, I'm going to be changing the position. And for this one, I'm going to be changing its transparency. And for this one, the property I'm going to be changing is the can collide property. So for this one, we're going to be making this wall able to be walked through. So let me just rename this one wall. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a script onto the workspace. So go ahead and click on workspace, then the plus sign, and start typing the word script, and then select it from the menu. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a variable to reference each one of these parts. So what I'm going to be doing is just creating five different variables. And to do that, I'm going to start with the word local. And the first one, let's go ahead and work on the color one. So we're going to say color part is equal to and then the most general category is game and then all our parts in, are inside the workspace so next will be workspace and inside the workspace it's the color which is the name of the part okay I'm gonna copy and paste this five times and then we'll just make the changes that we need to make okay there we go so the next one let me see what I called it. So this is our size. So size is the next one. And then I think I did position next. And then transparency. And the last one was the wall. Okay, and then I just need to change this over here. So this one would be size. This one would be the position. This one will be the transparency, and the last one will be the wall. Okay, so just to reca recap what I just did, is I made five different variables for each of the different parts, and then I wrote this part over here to reference the part in the game. So from the game, I'm looking under the workspace. Under the workspace, I just named the, the, the name of the part. All right, so next let's go ahead and learn how we can change these properties. So the, the nice thing about doing this is now I can say if I want to change the color property, I get to say color part dot, and this will be the name of the property that I'm changing. So in this case, I'm going to be changing the color. It's a little bit different than what you might think, so I can't just say color. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say brick color is equal to brick color dot new, 
And then inside parentheses here, I'm going to put the name of the color. And if you're not sure what colors you can put, what you can do is go back under base plate, click on the part, and then you want to look for the color section. And any color here is a color that you can change it to. And if you leave your mouse over it, it'll tell you what the name is. So let's go and change this part to the color really red. So to do that, I'm going to come back to my script. Inside the parentheses and quotation marks, I'm going to put the word really red. And you have to be careful with um, capitalization. So if I look back at my color, the first word is capital, the second word isn't. So that has to be the same for your script as well. Okay, so for this one, I'm changing the color to red. This one, I'm going to be changing the size. So to do that, let's go ahead and say size part dot size is going to be equal to and there's three different dimensions that you can change for the part you can change how long it is how wide it is and how tall it is and to change all three of those numbers what we have to do is say vector three since there's three parts dot new and then inside the parentheses we're going to be putting those three different numbers so by default this part if we look under its size It's four by one by two. So it's four long, one tall, and two wide. So let's go ahead and change that. So let's make it 10 by 10 by 10. Okay, next, let's go ahead and change the uh, position property. So we're gonna say position part. And this one is similar to the size. So I'm gonna say vector three dot new. And let's go ahead and take a look at the original position for this part. So if we look down for position right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy its position. So you just click on it, press Control-C to copy. And then I'm going to paste it inside the parentheses here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this part go up in the air. So let's go ahead and change this number right here. So the Y position will change up and down. And let's make this equal to 25. Next, we'll change the transparency of the fourth part. So we'll say trans part is, oops, dot transparency. And this is going to be equal to 0 0.5. So we're going to make it see-through. Lastly, let's change the can collide property of our wall. So let's start by saying wall part dot can collide and this is going to be equal to false so this one it's either going to be true or false so if you want it to be able to have collisions which means if I run into this wall and I want it to stop me from going through it I would say true if I want to be able to walk through this part I'm going to say false okay so let's go ahead and run our code and see the properties that we changed all right and let's go ahead and take a look so for the first one, we have a red part just like we expected. This one, we have a bigger part. So this one should be up in the air. So let's go ahead and go back in just a second and see what we can do to fix that. Here is our transparent, transparent part. And here is our wall that I should be able to walk through. Okay, so everything's working except for this middle one right here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can fix that. So back on the script, if you take a look at the script, if you look at this, I referenced the part, but I did not reference the property. So to fix this, what you're going to have to do is this references the part, and then all you have to do is say dot position, and it should be fixed now. So in addition to referencing the part, you also have to reference the property that you want to change. So let's go ahead and take a look now and see if I fixed it. And there we go. So we're good. So we have our third part, which is now up in the air. So just a little bit of troubleshooting. So a lot of the times if something like that happens where parts are not at the level that you expect them to be, go ahead and try turning on anchor to see if that fixes it first. And then after that, if it's still not correct, then go and check your code because a lot of times you'll make these silly little mistakes and looking through it, you'll be able to see, oops, I just forgot to add the property that I'm changing. Okay, so these are not all the different properties that you can change with your parts. There's a lot more, and you can see all those by looking under the Properties menu. 
I tried to highlight some of the different ones where they have different changes that you can make. So for example, one of them is just by adding a new number to it, like the transparency. The color, you have to do this part right here, which has brick color dot new. If you're changing size or position, you're going to be setting it equal to a new vector with three different numbers. And there's also properties where it's either true or false. Okay, so this is going to be the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.